Hi, this is Quentin from Scuba Dive for the Culture. This is a video series that I decided to do um, that's going to be called Why Don't Black People Scuba Dive? Um, I'm going to break it up into several different parts, but I'm going to give you a quick rundown or overview of what those parts are going to be. Uh, number one, we're going to talk about why uh, we have such a fear in the black community of swimming. We don't have a lot of swimming um, and it comes from different things. It comes from um, taught behaviors. It comes from generational teachings. It comes from slavery, Jim Crow plus income and class. So that's something that we're going to also we're going to dive into. We're going to also talk about superstition and fears, because as I found out recently um, up to now, uh, recent day Africa, they still have a very funny relationship with the water. They don't like to be in the water. They don't like to be in the sea. Some of it is because uh, that comes from slavery and some of it because of unrealistic education about the fear of unknown sea life and also mermaid spirits. Um, the third topic that we're going to talk about is the prejudice in the dive industry. Um, at dive sites, dive shops, the lack of representation and the lack of people of color in general being instructors, shop owners, and the ones that run a boats and run liveaboard boats, you don't see a lot of that. So that's going to be a very different thing that we're going to talk about. Also, the stigma that blacks have that most blacks feel like if I don't see a f one black or two blacks out there, it's not somewhere for us to be, which is really sad, but it's a reality that we deal with. Um, and number five that I want to talk about is representation. To be able to go to dive sites, dive shops, um, dive seminars, anything that has to do with scuba diving to actually look around and see someone that looks like me. That gives you, uh, it gives you a better feeling about certain things is when you see people that actually look like you. You feel like you have a connection. You feel like you have a place. The scuba diving industry is sorely lacking in that area, and they don't have a lot of representation. Um, the good thing is there is a national organization that's out there that's called NABS, the National Association of Black Scuba Divers. They have That's the parent company, which is based in Washington, D.C., and they also have clubs in and throughout the United States. Um, here in my area, where I'm from, Houston, Texas, we do have a club here that's called the Nubian Divers. So uh, Nubian Divers is um, a great club. We're going through a lot of changes right now, but it's a great club. We all get together. We're friendly with, e with each other and we talk a lot. So that gives us that place for representation. Um, also, um, being here in Houston with such a big population, there are only a very small number of actually um, dive instructors and there are black. There are zero dive shops that are black owned. And there are zero dive boats or dive locations that are all black owned. So that makes a big, big difference. And that's something that I want to get into, have a discussion about and find out if we can get together and we can figure out how to help the industry out to become a better industry. So that out of the 100 percent of people that dive, only 9 percent of them dive is black. So we want to see that number go up. We want to have representation. We want to be in, have inclusion. And where we can make it fun and enjoyable and understand that the ocean and the sea is something that's definitely for all of us. So this is me, Quentin, Scuba Dive for the Culture. I look forward to chatting it up with you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.